He was with him. His whole focus was to train them to be like him. And some of them really got it. I'm sure John, you know, the disciple that loved Jesus. I love how he talks about himself. The disciple that loved Jesus, they had to actually put him on the Isle of Patmos at one time because they couldn't kill him. Seriously, read your Bible, please. They could not kill that disciple. He didn't die from a crucifixion. He didn't die from some horrible death. He died from old age, and he chose to go home because Jesus would have kept him here. He'd have been here right now. I'm sure didn't he, they try to boil him in oil? They actually did boil him in oil, and he probably asked for a rubber ducky <laughs> because I want you to know he didn't have one single evidence on his body that that happened. They were terrified of that man. Uh, because they couldn't kill him they put him away on the isle of patmos i'm sure he enjoyed appearing before them whenever he felt like it he went through the spirit realm how do i know he went there because in the book of revelations it says john was in the spirit on the lord's day that is a place in the unseen realm in the unseen place the spirit realm john was there when the day came that he heard and he saw the door open and heard the voice that said, come up. That was heaven inviting him up there. So he did go in the spirit probably quite often. And so he so terrified mankind because they couldn't kill him. When Jesus has someone he can really use, he will keep you here as long as you will let him. I plan to be here a long time. So get used to the pink hair, people. I'm now going to show you this. This is our map. <clears throat> I actually can turn it around and show you America. Here it is, right here. I'm trying to find where Dor. Uh, Dorian's actually way over here. Is this it? Yes. Is this a good place to hold it? Yes. Okay, this is Dorian right here, way over here, right? And, um, and here's the state of Florida. Is that right? Uh-huh. State of Florida. They make it look like it's out on the beach, but I was out there recently and it's not there. And uh, so they're saying it will not come ashore at all. I know the cone of indecision used to cover the whole thing. And so it's way over here offshore, and it's showing you the trail. I'm trying to see where the trail is. I'll have to hold it, okay? There it is. The track is way over here, like off the coast. See it? It's off the coast of the uh, United States right now. It's actually down here. Here is the tip. Here's Miami down here. And it's like over here, you know, near the Bahamas, right here. We've been praying for the Bahamas. So, and here's this track going up here. Is this the right track? Yeah, you're basically on it. Okay, I'm basically <laughs> on it. There it is. I see it. It's right about here. Yep. This is the track. So, here it is way over here. And now I'm going to show you the other side. This has got a lot of stuff. This is the map that comes with our Weather Warriors kit that we told you about. No, we're not trying to make a bunch of money. Trust me, we don't make a lot, but we have to be paid back for the stuff that we buy. And of course, we need to make some kind of a profit. We pay a lot of salaries here at OneQuest. We have a lot of things that we're doing and, and products, new products we're getting and all kinds of things going on, plans to travel. And let me tell you, it's still not free. How about that? So we do thank, again, all of those who partner with us, who, who are our guardians. We have a thing called the Guardian Zone. Probably in September, I'm going to literally have a big release for all of that. We do thank you. You're precious to us, those who give, those who pray. We are so grateful for you, and so we want to say thank you. But this is the, this is the map that's laminated. has America. Wait a second. got to zoom out. Okay, you got to zoom out. Sorry. This is the world. I think you know that. Hey, it's not flat. I know you're not going to ever hear me stop saying that. There you go. There really are people that think it's flat people, but you know what? I've never flown. So here's me flying across that. I've never flown and <coughs> fallen off the side of the earth, okay? I don't know where they get that from because they don't understand the spirit realm. That's got to be one of our next things we talk about, Jen. I'm so ready for a Q&A session. And I know you've sent in so many questions and statements and declarations, but I'm not where I see any of that. I do look at it later, I do, but Jen has already removed the basher, so don't waste your time. And don't bother responding to their comments. Yeah, we don't, don't respond to the comments. Unless of, you say something that 
boggles their mind. Like, boggles their mind. Yeah. <laughs> like, ask them what their flavor, favorite ice cream is. That'd be good. Someone really bashing hatefully and say, hey, what is your favorite ice cream? It'll throw their mind right out of their head because they're not expecting that. We don't respond to bashers because then you're feeding the enemy who loves to see that happen. We don't promote uh, feeding bashers, okay? But we do promote getting them off. So getting them off of the site so you can enjoy. And thank you for all your inspiration, your encouragement you give us. We really do appreciate it. I love everybody. Yes, I recognize all the names of those I've actually met in person. I don't forget you. And um, so anyway, I'm just going to show you. This is our laminated map. This actually is the little marker we give you, dry erase marker. And you see I've made little marks all over this thing. This is what you do with it. So you can keep track of the stuff you're declaring over. And, uh, and then see the changes that are made. Where do we get our green screen up and you actually see all this stuff in motion? I can't wait to do that. And then we can actually see the storms and as we're speaking against it, you can see it being affected by our words. That is God's purpose in doing this. So I hope you can see this. This is Dorian right here. I'm trying to see. I need to get my other little thing here. I'm going to put it on here. This is Dorian right here. See Dorian? There's Dorian right there off the coast. Is this Dorian, Jen? Jen's like, what are you doing now? Yes. There's Dorian right there, okay? And, um, and so, and, and this is uh, obviously, this tiny little tiny thing is Florida. There's Dorian. This is the direction. This is the direction we are in going to encourage it to go in even more. We want it to go north and then east. We do not want it to hang out. Uh, near the coast at all. I do want to share with you that we're still speaking to the disturbance. There is a disturbance off the coast of Africa right there. We've been declaring over that to diminish and become nothing. Then there is one also in the lower part of the Gulf of Mexico right there. That's disturbance number two. Then, and these things pop up overnight. It's, what happens is there's an atmospheric um, disturbance that will affect the water below it and then that causes it to become uh, eventually it'll become like a depression so there's a disturbance if we don't do anything about it or say anything it becomes a depression uh, the depression turns into a storm the storm turns into the other stuff so the minute it comes like that is the best time to speak against it so we actually have uh, one off the coast of Africa one in the lower Gulf uh, this one here which is right kind of in the middle of the ocean right now and then we have a new one that is a tropical storm off the coast of Mexico. Juliet. Juliet is the name. So we're actually going to speak to all of those. And so we come against, in, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come against this disturbance in, off the coast of Africa. We command the meal of ours to rise in that disturbance so that will become nothing in Jesus' name. We speak again to the second disturbance right here in the lower Gulf of Mexico. And we come in the millibars to rise in that disturbance, so it will be downgraded to nothing in Jesus' name. And then this other third disturbance right here. Is this it, Jen? Yes. Right here about in the middle of the, uh, in the, uh, in the ocean. Uh, just opposite of Bermuda. It's all opposite of Bermuda. Yeah. We come in the millibars to rise in that disturbance, tropical disturbance in Jesus' name that it will be downgraded and become nothing. And then we're going to speak to this tropical storm all the way over here off the coast of Mexico. Its name is Juliet, so we'll use its name. Juliet, we command the millibars to rise in you in Jesus' name to downgrade that tropical storm, to crush it. We command the host to go in there and shred any of the bands around that storm that are forming, that it will become nothing. In Jesus' name, we take authority over you. We are over the weather, not under the weather. And we speak on behalf of all. I'm going to turn it around again. Here we go. Here's America. Uh, we speak on behalf of all of these these cities. Is this it? No. No, it's over here. A little bit more. Over here. Yes. There we you go. We speak, again. we speak on behalf of all the people and any of these people on the coast that may be in the path or even, even just the bands, the outer bands. We don't want flooding. We don't want destruction in Jesus' name. We speak on behalf of all these people here. 
You probably have family there, people, because you've already been telling us that you do. So, Father, we speak for protection on behalf of all these people right here. God, let them stand up if they're believers and speak against that storm in Jesus' name because we are not tolerating it. And also, we command um, Dorian. Let me find it. Here's Dorian way down here. We command Dorian to still go north, correct? Go north and go northeast. So what we're saying is we want this storm. Can you, can they see this when I do this? Yeah. Okay, when this storm, we want this storm here to not go where they say along the coast. We want that storm to go north. They already saying it's going to shift again. We want it to shift further north and go northeast. Because when that happens, I'll turn it around. Oh, this is better. This is a better example. This is where I drew it, actually. Okay, this is where we want it to go. I can see this fine. We want that storm to shift north. No, we don't want it coming west. Go north again. It's already moved north once. Move north and go northeast. You see that? Here's the coastline. We want that storm to go northeast. And as it goes, we want it to be downgraded in Jesus' name. And I am going to be back as often as I possibly can to speak against that storm. And even when you don't see me, I am still speaking against it. Okay, it is within me to see that storm diminish to nothing. And one thing we're going to start doing and learn together, you're going to learn together with me, we're going to learn how in the midst of any kind of storm, if there's a drought area near the storm, we're going to cause it to shift because we don't want drought. Drought does damage to the land. It hurts people's economy. It hurts them themselves. Uh, we want the earth to be refreshed and replenished by rain, and that's the way God designed it to happen. Also, when drought comes, the rivers get diminished. The lakes begin to disappear. Uh, that's what happened in a lot of the desert area a long time ago, like the Grand Canyon and other places like that, that used to have a lot of water in it. And then over time, it just diminished, diminished, diminished. Well, it says in Romans 8 that the manifested sons and daughters will speak to the land itself and it will be healed. So all of this that we're doing leads up to becoming a manifested son and daughter of God. doesn't mean you need a Ph.D., a master's degree. It doesn't mean that doesn't mean you have to be real super smart. It means you have to be willing and obedient, okay? Because God wants you to live a prosperous life, a happy life. He cares very much for you. He even cares for the people that don't know him. And so, you know, let me tell you this. I happen to know that people who are in the world look at all of my stuff. <clears throat> Get my drink here with my, I don't do demons. There you go. See it? There it is. What a powerful statement. That would be so cool. One day we'll have art festivals everywhere, and all of our tents are going to say, I don't do demons. Oh, there you go. That's not heaven calling. If it was, it would be harps playing, okay? So, um, yes, Jen. I just got a report from Stephen. Yes. There is a tropical depression that's pounding in China and Vietnam. Oh, over in China? In Vietnam, yeah. Does it, does it have a name? <coughs> um, I don't know. Okay, because we know where China is. I'm not quite sure. Vietnam has got to be somewhere near China if it's the same depression. So this purple area right here, I'm going to turn it around. Is this it, Jen? Is this China? Yes. This purple area on this international side, is this, it's purple. It's right here. Is that it? See, this is live, people. This is not rehearsed in any way whatsoever. This is China. This purple area, I'll point right at it. Is Vietnam on the coast? Uh, Stephen. <laughs> Stephen! Where's Vietnam? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's going to start answering. This is what you I do. Know. We say something and everybody jumps on there. It's here, it's there, it's here, it's there. Well, you know, I know my country pretty well most of the time. Um, 
Most of the time I do. But I will tell you this, when we were going to travel to Korea for me to speak for 10 days, boy, was that a fast. It was so powerful, though. It was wonderful and amazing. Uh, I was going to go to Korea, and I didn't know much of anything except I knew it was like over there oh, okay. that way. And I asked, I asked Margaret, my CFO, well, are we going to go straight up and turn right, or are we going to go down here and across and then up? Because I didn't know what to say about anything. And but, but we did get there. It was a powerful. Okay, so wow. China is that little spot right there. Japan is right there. Okay. There's Mongolia. I'm not sure where Vietnam is. Hmm. It's got to be on the coast because it has jungles. That's a little I weird. I was homeschooled, people. <laughs> I was not her teacher. I'll just say. <laughs> I homeschooled my one daughter and she got China, into college. Hello. He said China is right above Vietnam. Um, how can that be when it's China? Vietnam is probably here. down here. No, no, no. Take your glasses. This is live, people. I, I need a brownie with lots of walnuts in it. Please don't little... make me any. I see it. It says China, but that when I looked at the other day, this whole purple thing was China. <laughs> Vietnam's got to be down here somewhere in the jungles. Wherever it is, we're going to well, come against it. cover the whole area. Okay, okay. Yeah, we are going to speak on behalf of China right now. For the, is, did he say tropical storm or depression? Yes, the tropical. Depression. Uh, it's got to be a storm and a depression at the same time. Because if it's doing with powerful wind and rain, we're coming against right now in Jesus' name that tropical depression and storm that is tearing up China, <clears throat> flooding in China. I hear they get a lot of floods. Anyway, somewhere, China's here somewhere, and then wherever Vietnam is, we're speaking on behalf of everybody in Vietnam. Um, Father, I know you love them right now. We are not tolerating. We're not going to tolerate attacks yeah, because they've been by the severe weather. They've been hit by tsunamis. I'm not kidding you, major tsunamis. I think Japan has been hit by tsunamis, China's been hit by tsunamis, and a lot of severe flooding. People by the hundreds of thousands being displaced. And uh, we didn't actually cover all that now, but you know what, hey, we're here to help the whole world if we can, and wherever we can, our voice matters. We're not tolerating the enemy getting in and into these storm systems that God created to help this earth, to nurture this earth, and hydrate this earth. He but if never there's somebody that lives there. If anyone watching. listening lives in these areas, you as a believer have a lot of authority in those areas. You yourself need to declare and decree that stuff is going to stop and the flooding is going to go down and that is going to end in Jesus' name. That's right. And everyone along the coast from Florida all the way up, the entire East Coast if you're a born-again believer, you need to stand up and say, no, I will not tolerate Dorian coming to my area. Because that's your area you live in. Jesus was in the storm, people. He was involved in the storm. He had great authority because he was there. That shows you about being a weather warrior. If you have family in these areas, you may stand on their behalf because you have more authority to declare over them than even I do. I have a lot of authority in Florida. That's where I live. That's where God sent me, okay? So the areas, anybody who's living in these areas, all up here along this east coast, right here, you have great authority over the system. You don't have to wait for it to come and wipe out everything. God said the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. That doesn't give him the right to do it. If you're a born-again believer, you do have power over all the power of the enemy. Why? Because Jesus Christ gave it to us. So don't wait for me to come on here and just say things myself. Yes, I understand it. I've already seen tremendous results. And whatever ends up happening, we're going to have our part in destroying that stuff. We don't want it. 
Instead of bashing, why don't you become productive? Say something that brings life. God says, speak words that bring life. What did he say this day? Ah, for your life or death, what do you want to be? keeping that image and I'm going to speak against that image the whole entire time I'm going to crush this storm with my words with my authority because we are over the weather not under it never forget that if you never become a part of what we're doing which I told you is not going to go wait till winter comes we're going to have authority over all the avalanches the ice storms all of it we're taking authority over all God said, let us make man in our image. That was Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And after our likeness, which is how they operate. What am I saying? He wants us to be just like them. So make sure you're not bashing anybody, especially the one you're married to, any of your family. God wants to speak love. That doesn't mean you tolerate their sin, but you have to love them. And your prayers one day may be the only thing that gets them into heaven. So I'm going to end with this. God, we declare and decree that our family members will become mighty children of God, that they will not miss their destiny, that they'll become the living testimony of the saving power of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I speak that over all of your family members. You need to say, I receive that. And when you want to pray for them, instead of repeating everything they're doing wrong, you're helping hell advertise, why not? say that because your words have power in them and I'm not going to stop declaring so again I'm going to poke you in the eye that will be this eye um, the black eye I need to that harp sounds a little bit better anyway I poke you in the eye Dorian, and I will displace you and I take authority over you and I'll not tolerate destruction from you. And I say you will become nothing in Jesus' name. We rule and reign with Jesus Christ. We are not subject to this world. And we are not subject to man's opinions and man's decisions when they don't know God. I thank you for putting people in place that are here to help and not crush and bash. I thank you, God, for all those May they be blessed many times over for helping and serving when they don't even have to, God. But I am not tolerating any activities of hell. Not in my country and not anywhere I can speak in this world. And every place I've been, I command the host of heaven to go and pull down every stronghold of violence, of hate. That they want destruction to happen, I command the host of heaven, you pull down those strongholds of the demonic means shred the platforms they've been ruling in those areas for years because we are the ones who have authority in this earth not hell may they have triple trouble in hell today may the isis have a non-ending crisis until they are no more for we despise terror and fear and hate and violence and we will no longer tolerate it in our lives no matter where we live, may we count for heaven and speak life and hope into people. In Jesus' name, everybody said, Amen. Amen. And I will see you later.